Okay, so in this video, I'm going to go through transition metal complexes. So I'm going to show you how to determine the charge on the complex, and I'm going to show you how to organize and find the coordination number and the oxidation number on the metal that's in the complex. So first of all, let's draw up an example. Okay, so this is our example here that we're going to work with. Now to work out the charge that's on the uh, coordination complex, um, we want to take away the anion, so this polyatomic anion. So SO4 has a two minus charge. So that means that this whole complex here must have had a two plus charge because it's neutral overall. So we can split it up to show the two charges on it. Now the next thing we want to look at is the coordination number. So the coordination number is how many ligands are coordinating to the central metal that's there. So this NH3 is a monodentate ligand, so it's just coordinating one time into the ligand. You can have bidentate or polydentate ligands. So this one being monodentate means that there would be four of these coordinating into that copper. Okay, so now we want to work out the oxidation number um, of the copper. So we know, to, I'll just draw on this part here to explain it. So we know the NH3 is neutral. Okay, so that's a neutral ligand. Overall, we have a two plus charge. So we need to write down a value for copper that when it's added to zero, it will give us a two plus overall. So because we're adding it to zero, a plus two on this copper minus, oh, sorry, a plus two plus zero would give us a plus two overall. So the copper's coordination number would be plus two. Okay, so this is another example here. So we've got a Cl that's, that's um, the counter ion on this coordination complex. So if we split them up here, we will get a Cl minus. And so this whole complex here would have a positive um, that we need to balance out the minus that we have on the chloride. Now to work out, first of all, the coordination number, I'll just put CN, but I mean coordination number with that abbreviation there. So the coordination number is the number of donor ligands that are donating towards that, that CR metal. So we have two chlorines and we've got four OH2s. So we've got four waters um, that are within the compound. So we've got four for the water plus two for the chloride gives me six for the coordination number. Now to work out the oxidation number, I'll just do ON for oxidation number, and it's going to be on the chromate that we're going to be looking at. So we know overall it's got a positive. So the chlorine, each one of those is a negative, and the water is neutral. So if I want to write this down on here, so this is minus 2 because I've got 2 times minus 1. So that's, that's where I've got it from. And this one here, they're all neutral, so I've got 0 there, which would be 4 times 0, which gives us 0. So I've got the CR plus 0 minus 2 gives me that positive overall. So then just working out what the chromate is, so minus two, I take it to the other side, would give me uh, minus two plus two, so it'd be plus three. So that would be a plus three. Okay, so that is how we work out the complex charge, the coordination number and the oxidation number.